Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, this is a channel for all tips, tricks, and plugins in Final Cut Pro. Just a way to help you out on your Final Cut Pro journey and video editing. Um, on the screen here, as you can see, is our website, www.b3-studios.com, where we have plenty, plenty of plugins to help out your workflow. Um, some are free and some you have to pay for, but just go check that out because I'm pretty sure you're gonna find effects there that uh, could help out your workflow. Now let's get right into the video. Uh, before we start, just a caveat about masking. Um, masking is a very essential and important tool in Final Cut Pro or in any video editing platform to get the visual results that you want. Um, it may be you know, tedious and time consuming, but the end result is um, always worth it. Um, so take your time, be detail oriented when it comes to masking. Okay, now with that being said, let's get started. So we have two clips right here from the new ASAP Rocky music video. And what we're gonna do here is we are going to create a duplicate clip. So option drag up, not sure what it is on Windows, but for Mac it's option and drag up. Now after we do this, um, let's bring this clip right alongside the other clip and what we're going to do here is we're going to add a freeze frame so we're going to add a freeze frame right there so we're going to add a freeze frame once we add that freeze frame you can delete this and place this freeze frame that we just created on top of this clip right here the bottom clip and what we're going to do here is we're going to disable the bottom clip for just for a little bit so we can press V on the Mac. And now what we're going to do here is we're just going to create a mask. So we're going to go to the effects tab right here. Effects panel, excuse me. And we are going to look for mask and key. And we're going to drag a draw mask right on top of here and we're just going to mask out um, ASAP Rocky's body make sure you take your time here uh, and you create a good mask because that's important for the effect I'm going to fast forward just so this video won't take forever okay now once you complete the mask um, as you can see, there are some outside blurry edges. If you want to fix that up, you can um, click on the top and feather that in a little bit. And if you still want to do it, just make adjustments according to your footage. Um, that looks much better. So now what we're going to do is we're going to reveal the last clip. So press V on the bottom clip and we're gonna trim this top clip down. We're gonna trim this top clip down right here. And we're gonna move it about two frames into the timeline. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on this top clip And we're going to go to the transform option right here. We're going to add some keyframes. So we're going to add a keyframe. Um, make sure your playhead is in front of this top uh, uh, frozen clip. This is the freeze frame clip. So you're going to add a keyframe right here. And you're going to drag the Y axis all the way down. And you're going to move the, key, the playhead one, two frames. And we're gonna go to zero. And after we go to zero, um, the clip should be aligned now. And we're gonna add one more effect onto that frozen freeze frame. And that's a directional blur. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna um, place this arrow since the clip that we want is going up this way. It's pointing this way now. 
we want it to go up this way because it's coming from the ground up. So we're going to point the direction up this way. But we're going to add a keyframe to that. So we're going to add a keyframe key to that directional amount right here. And we're going to move our playhead up. And then we're going to bring this down right here. The direction amount because it's not moving anymore so we wanted to make it look as realistic as possible so let's play this back looks pretty good we're going to exaggerate this a bit more though so let's um, add a keyframe right here let's reset that Add a keyframe. Push this up. And right at the end, we want to bring it down to zero. So that's better. It's a lot better. Now, for our bottom clip. This is where things get interesting. So we want to start um, the playhead right at the beginning of the bottom clip as well. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add a keyframe to the position just like we did for the freeze frame. And we're going to move um, yeah, we're going to move the X axis so all the way over here, so there's no background. And then we are going to bring it into play right after this last, at the end of this freeze frame, we're gonna bring this back to zero. back to zero right here and as you can see it's already working but we're not done yet put your playhead back to the beginning of the bottom clip and we are going to add a directional blur just like we did for the top clip and since the arrow is going this way just like we want it because the clip our bottom clip is coming from this side. We are going to add a keyframe to the bottom clip. And I know we can't see it right now, but we will eventually. And then just go frame by frame. One, two, three, four. And then we can lower it when it gets into the picture. And now let's see how this looks. So when we play this back now, looks pretty cool. And we can even do it from a different direction. If you don't like that direction, that's fine. We can come over here and reset our parameter. Just make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the bottom clip. And we can add a keyframe right here and we can go straight from the bottom like that. But you wanna make sure that the directional arrow is pointing up since it's coming from the bottom. So we're gonna keep going down and we're gonna go frame by frame to the timeline. And right at the end of this freeze frame clip is when we can bring this up. So go to Y and go to zero. And that should bring it up right there. And we're gonna lower this directional amount. And now let's see how this looks. That's awesome. Looks pretty good right there. Um, 
and you can add all sorts of you know effects if you want you can also add the glint effect to asap rocky this is usually how his videos are kind of glowy and trippy um obviously we can turn the amount down and i will put the glint light effect in the description for you guys it is on our website you can turn the amount down there the softness glow amount intensity so all in all this is the end per result and that is a pretty good effect right there um, i hope you guys learned something today if you learned anything please like and consider subscribing um, we will be coming out with a lot more content coming out soon um, like i said i hope this helps you guys and be sure to visit our website www.b3-studios.com and uh, get some plugins that'll help your workflow out all right guys i appreciate you and i will see you soon thank you